Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play A Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730, and let's slowly make our way to Kakariko Village to find the Elder and see if he can tell us how to retrieve the Master Sword. Evil's Bane, smiter of all things bad. Ooh, there's a soldier. Yeah, I think this is the first reference of Kakariko Village in the series. Um, Zelda 2 did have a lot of villages, but if you notice, all the names of those villages were then used in Legend of Zelda um, Ocarina of Time as the sages. So, that's pretty interesting. Here we have a fortune teller. Um, if you ever get lost and need nowhere to go, go to fortune teller, cost a, couple, cost a little bit of rupees, she'll tell you where to go. But, you know what? I'm pretty much well versed in this game, so I'm just going to make my way to Kakariko Village. Let's see where that elder is. Let's see. Oh, he's right here. Okay. Let's see what he's got to say. Oh, you look old. No, no being salt. I mean, it's not bad being old. I'm kind of old. Oh. Alright. Huh. Well, I can sure use that Master Sword now. Sure. Oh. So, you don't know where he is? Uh, let's break your pots then. So you want to tell me where our elder is, where our destination is. This must be the elder's room where he sleeps and resides. Alright. But you know what? Instead of looking for the elder, let's do a couple of side quests here. It's time to um, get a little stronger. Alright, let's hop down right here. Ooh, what do we have here? Treasure chest. We have some bombs. Now there's Legend of Zelda staple. Um, let's see. Switch over to our bombs. Well, that, that crack looks a little weird. Oh, it's making a weird little sound. So, we'll put a bomb there. Move out of the way. Kaboom! Into a secret passage! Ooh, money. Ooh, money. Hearts. Here we have our first heart piece. Yeah, this was the game that actually started where instead of getting actual full, complete heart containers, you got heart pieces. Here's some more money. And after you get four pieces of heart, you gain a full heart. So, that's how this game works. And really, after this, that's how all the rest of the Zelda games work. As opposed to gaining complete hard pieces, you had to actually gain a quarter at a time. But, hey. It's all works. So, let's see. We got 100 rupees. We can talk to this fellow right here. 100 rupees for a bottle? You know what? It's worth it. Yep. Here we get our first bottle. Yep, there are actually four total bottles in this game. And we're going to want to get all of them because they're actually pretty helpful. Oh, we have here money, money, money. Yeah, yeah. See, he's going to tell us about a guy named, uh, thief that name, was named Blind that used to live here. But we're going to remember that for later. Hey, look, there's another crack in the wall. Yep, let's get our bomb ready. Place our bomb. Move out of the way. Kaboom! See what's in here. Ooh, a lot of pots. Money, 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 money. Ooh, our second heart piece. Very, very nice. Ooh, money. Ooh, money. Yeah, uh, I don't think you actually have to grind that much money in this game because they they do a pretty good job of actually giving you more than enough to find. You just have to know where to find it. And here, uh, if you push the blocks in a certain order, you can actually um, obtain all the chests without having to go back and reset. If you have a mistake, just leave, reset, come back, and yeah, it's really not that hard to get all these chests. Yep, and I think each one gives about 10 rupees, so you can want all of them. So that's another 40 in our pocket. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's see what else, other kind of goodies we can find in this here village of Kakarako. Yeah, you don't have to do any of this. I mean, if you want to just bulldoze right into uh, finding the leader, I'll show you where to actually go. But I like doing this because it does give you a little bit of extra hump in me. You're going to need to almost do this anyway, so why not now? Alright, I um, don't think there's anything here. And this person will run away really fast. But if you talk to this individual here, he'll mark it on your map where you can actually find the Elder. It's going to be way over there. But you know what? We're not going to go there just yet. And stay away from those cuckoos, which they look like chickens, but they're cuckoos. They're cuckoos. Um, if you hit them a lot, um, they'll go crazy, and they, they, they'll do some really nasty damage. So, yeah, let's use our last bomb here. Make sure we get out of the way. Get another heart for another secret opening. Ooh, there's some mice here. 
Yeah. Just like any RPG, there's a quest to get mice, kill mice. But more or less, here we'll just get these pots, get a bunch more bombs, arrows, money. Yeah, really good spot um, to use the last bomb because you'll get another four here. And you'll, you'll need a couple. Um, bombs really don't become a real necessity until a little later in the game. But here you want to go through this back door, through the milk bar. Ooh, another treasure chest. I wonder what we have here. Another bottle! Now we have two bottles, so that's very nice. Alright, let's see if we head over here. Head through this little house here. Oh! Hey, you're in bed. It's time to wake up. Oh, you're sick? Uh, keep those germs to yourself, okay? I'm a bit of a germaphobe. But hey, I'll take your bug catching net. Yeah, that item's gonna become really, really useful pretty soon. So, make our way up here. I think that's a... Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's about all the stuff we can really get from Kakariko. So, we want to head north to a specific um, set of um, woods, if you know what I mean. Let's head north up here. Uh, if you head north, the other um, the other path, it's blocked off. Won't be able to get that far. Let's pick up this bush. And, ooh, yep, got him. Get our heart. And enter the Lost Woods! Well, that's a nasty little fog going on. I don't like that. Okay, if you head here, head down. It's a really nice little graphical effect they did. It's really nice. Now, if you head between those two um, trees at the very bottom, you can actually head south into another part of the village, but we'll just remember that for later. What you want to do is head up here. Um, avoid the little um, individual right there, because he touches you, you'll lose like a bunch of bombs, arrows, um, rupees. It's really annoying. What you want to do is make your way up here, cut these bushes. Hey, what's this? Hey, we found some shrooms! Uh, it kind of smells, but hey. Pretty sure somebody will want this thing. Just not for what I hope it is. See these bushes here? You cut the middle. We have a secret little drop down. What else waiting us? Hey! The third piece of heart! Ah, ah, ah. Alright, we're gonna want to head here. I think really we've um, recovered everything we want in the Lost Woods for right now. Um, okay, gotta head out over here, head to the south, kill this little bird, get a little more magic. Let's head south. Uh, whew, all right, that puts us right there, right where the um, what should we call it? The um, ugh, ugh. can't even speak. Ow, that hurt. Yeah, it puts us right where the fortune teller was. So just head uh, east over here. Yep. And yeah, we're pretty much done with the Kakariko for now. For now, we'll go back. Um, here's the sanctuary. In case you ever want to go back. Uh, if you talk to the um, head of the sanctuary that helps Zelda, he'll restore all your hearts, but they're pretty good. Uh, here's the cemetery. We will be going back here a little later because once we acquire a certain item, we should be able to um, drop down to a little secret passage, but that's a little later. Uh, yeah, we can here. We just want to. Um, we don't really need any items or anything, so I'm not really that worried about killing these troops. But just use your boomerang, stun them. If you want to kill them, knock yourself out. Right, head right over here. Oh, here's our first in new enemy. Um, do not hit that little green sucker with your sword or really anything because he'll, he'll damage you pretty good. But if you give her the magic mushroom, try and avoid this little fellow. Um, leave the screen and head right back. Avoid the little fellow. Just looks like she, I wonder if she made us anything. Let's see what we get here. Hey, what's this? If we're doing that, we get the magic powder! Probably one of the better items in the game, if you know what to sprinkle it on. It can do all kinds of crazy stuff, but trust me, well worth it. Alright, let's head back here. I'm gonna head south. There's one or two more little items we're gonna get. Oh, oh, that's the worst spot to encounter a troop! That's not good! Alright, can't lift those little rocks just yet. Our two. Kill this little archer. Oh, just one rupee? Really? Well, that really didn't have much of a payoff. Alright, you have some new enemies running around here. These are Octoroks. Uh, one swipe of your sword should take them out. Um, I do think you can stun them with your boomerang. Not too bad. Right, I'm gonna want to head here. Ooh, wow, are you serious? I just blocked an arrow. With my boomerang? That's awesome. We have Lake Hylia shop. Don't really need nothing here, but it's there. Um, here we are. We're right back to where Link's house is. 
But we want to head south. Uh, running a little low on health here. Alright, set our bomb here. Yeah, go back to our boomerang. Oh! Ow! Crap. Yeah, if you get low on hearts, you'll start sounding that annoying little clarion and... Yeah, here we have our first great fairy who isn't creepy and horrifying as in other games. Yeah, they just... They'll give you a full heal up. They're actually pretty nice. Um, there's a few of them in the game. Um, you don't really have to fight them, but, I mean, if you do, hey, it's nice to get full health whenever you're low. Alright, we're gonna make our way over here. Hey, I wonder what's in here. Alright, let's go inside this building here. Let's see what we have. Yep, I see you want to push this block up. Push this block up. Push this block around. And we get some more bombs! Yay! More explosives, more gooder! Head right back up. Reset. Alright, now we're going to push this block up. Push this one to the side. And we're able to access this room. If you have a new enemy, the Anti-Fairy. Um, when they hit you, not only do they deal damage to your hearts, but also damage to your magic. What you want to do, put a little magic powder, get your bud catching net, catch that fairy, stick it in a bottle. That way, in case you ever lose all of your hearts, it'll automatically refill you. Now, Red Potion is technically a little better, but... Sometimes my OC, my um, brain doesn't function and I forget that I'm almost dying. So I'd rather just have a backup plan, really. Alright, let's see what we did here. Hey, we drained the freaking swamp. Nope, not going there. We had our last piece of heart, now we have a full extra heart piece. Yay, more health, more gooder. But what will Sarah, uh, Sarah Hasla tell us about our journey? Will we be able to find the Master Sword or will we have to find more McGovins? Find out next time on Let's Play A Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past! It's your lovable host, Shadowblade730. See you all next adventure!